How can the use of tiles help us with adding and subtracting integers? First, we need to understand how to model addition and subtraction problems with tiles. Take a look at this problem. 10 plus negative 7. 10, or positive 10, means we start the problem with 10 positive tiles. Plus negative 7 means we add on 7 negative tiles. How about this problem? Negative 8 plus negative 6. This time we are starting with negative 8, or 8 negative tiles. We then add on negative 6 or 6 negative tiles. So what about getting the answer to the original problem? Okay, for this we need to understand the concept of opposites. Positive 6 and negative 6 are considered opposites. Negative 2 and positive 2 are opposites. Anytime you combine opposites, they cancel each other out and equal 0. This same rule applies to our tiles. Anytime you have a positive tile and a negative tile together, they cancel each other out to make 0. We call these 0 pairs. Now, let's put all the pieces together. Let's try the problem negative 4 plus 9. First, we model the situation with our tiles. Start with 4 negative tiles, then add on 9 positive tiles. Next, cross out any 0 pairs. We then circle the tiles that remain, which give us our answer. 5 positive tiles, or positive 5. What about this problem? Negative 10 plus 7. Start with 10 negative tiles, then add on 7 positive tiles. Cross out all the zero pairs, circle your answer of negative 3. Let's look at one more. Negative 3 plus negative 8. We start with 3 negative tiles. We then add on 8 negative tiles. In this case, there are no zero pairs. A zero pair must be a positive tile paired with a negative tile. Since there's nothing that cancels out, we just circle all the tiles. Our answer is 11 negative tiles or negative 11.